Most fans know George M. Steinbrenner Field as the Yankees' spring training venue. However, the Yankees moved to the field only in 1996 even though they had an on-off presence in Florida since the early 1900s. Here is the history of the Yankees' spring training and the places they adopted since their early days. From 1903 to 1912, the Highlander years. In 1903 and 1904, Atlanta in Georgia hosted the Yankees spring training. However, in 1905, they opted for Montgomery, Alabama. The 1905 Yankees spring training saw the arrival of a great first baseman named Hal Chase, who became the first real star of the team that would become the New York Yankees. They played the Barons in Birmingham, Alabama, at Slag Pile Field in 1906. For the next two years, the Yankees spring training returned to Atlanta, Georgia. The ballpark was Spiller Park, which was also called Ponce del Leon Park. In 1909, Central City Park, Macon, Georgia, was the Yankees' spring training venue. But they chose Hurdy Field in Athens, Georgia, for 1910 and 1911 spring camps. Those two years the Yankees played several preseason games in Atlanta, Birmingham, Chattanooga, Nashville, Cincinnati, Columbus, and Indianapolis. Atlanta became the training host again in 1912. From 1913 to 1921, in 1913 the New York Highlanders became the New York Yankees. For the first time, the Yankees' spring training moved to Hamilton Cricket Grounds, Hamilton, Bermuda, that year. The plan was to keep the players away from the temptations of American city nightlife and to make them focus on their baseball basics. They brought the New Jersey Skeeters to play against them. For the first time, the Yankees' spring training moved to Houston in 1914. They selected West End Park in Houston as the venue. In 1915, they went to Savannah, Georgia. Between 1916 and 1918, Mako, GA, was their spring training venue. The 1918 team also had the tallest pitcher ever in the sport at the time. Slim Love, who was 6 feet, 7.5 inches tall, made his debut during the Yankees' spring training. For 1919 and 1920 spring training camps, they selected Rose Field, Jacksonville, Florida. Babe Ruth made his debut at the Yankees' 1920 spring training. Next year, the camp was set up at Gassers Park, Shreveport, Louisiana. From 1922 to 1946, the Yankees had their spring training at New Orleans, Louisiana from 1922 to 1924, but they opted for Crescent Lake Field, St. Petersburg, Florida in 1925 and continued there until 1942. The field was later named after Miller Huggins, who was the manager of the Yankees from 1918 until his death in 1929. Babe Ruth once refused to catch fly balls there because alligators were sunning themselves on the edge of the outfield. In 1943, the team was trained at Asbury Park, New Jersey, just 60 miles south of the Bronx, to save money and supplies. However, terrible weather and poor facilities forced them to move to Atlantic City, New Jersey, in 1944. In 1946, the Yankees' spring training returned to Huggins Field. St. Petersburg, Florida. They continued there till 1950. At this baseball park, Joe DiMaggio played in center field. There were reports that a brown spot appeared on the grass in the center on the next days after the deaths of DiMaggio and Mickey Mantle. Yogi Berra had his Yankees debut in 1946. The field is still there, and high school and college teams from the area play on it. From 1947 to 1961, in the spring of 1947, the Yankees moved to St. Petersburg's El Lang Field, which would be their home for most of the next 14 seasons except 1951 spring training camp in Phoenix, Arizona. The 1951 Yankee spring training was Joe DiMaggio's last and Mickey Mantle's first. From 1962 to 1995, Fort Lauderdale Stadium, Florida, hosted the Yankees spring training in 1962. The Yankees made it their spring home for the next 33 years. The organization also moved its single-A team, which was called the St. Petersburg Saints at the time, from El Lang Stadium to the facility in Foot Lauderdale. Fans used to love the baseball stadium thanks to the opportunity they had to interact with many Yankee greats during the spring training. From 1996 to present, the Yankee spring training has been held at George M. Steinbrenner Field, Tampa, Florida, ever since it was opened on March 1, 1996. The Yankees beat the Cleveland Indians 5-2 in the first official spring training game. David Cohn was the one who threw the first pitch and Bob Wickman got the win. It was then called Legends Field. In March 2008, it was renamed to honor Yankees owner George Steinbrenner. The boss, as people called him, moved his team's spring training to the brand new Legends Field in Tampa. On a rainy day in 1996 in Tampa, when the Yankee spring training home opened, team owner George Steinbrenner was there. Though he gave autographs, he didn't sign his name on them. Impressed by his action, city leaders pushed to change the name of Legends Field to Steinbrenner Field to honor him. 
they cited his charity works to bestow him this honor. But his family says that he turned down the honor for a long time. He finally gave up. One of the last times George Steinbrenner was seen in public was when the new name of the stadium was announced in 2008. Subscribe to our channel to know more interesting facts about the New York Yankees. Write in the comments about what you want to know about the greatest baseball team ever.